hey guys welcome back and good morning to all of you watching this video in the morning and good night we are going to bed and before make sure you watch this video for the windows and mobile so there is a new build 14342 has been rolled out uh, just an hour before and um, before the we i'm starting filming right now before that and the same build number as we did got a couple of uh, days back for the pc 14342.100 uh, so uh, this build brings uh, quite a new features and some changes too so let me first uh, uh, increase the lock screen time uh, so, so this is 640xl uh, running the windows 10 mobile latest build so let me make it five time so the moment i install the build here the first thing i notice here if you guys might uh, have watched my previous video just yesterday i uploaded that uh, the android and versus windows and mobile so you might have seen i have shown you guys uh, uh, how the notification looks like so uh, once you slide down you will see here uh, previous to that messaging build have you know the green color icon it shows that but right now it is transparent you can also see this is my app cell phone and it's also notification has been made transparent so uh, prior to that it was taking the app icon that was green color and this is also the green color based on the theme that you are taking but now since my theme is green selected but even though it shows uh, the transparent but not for all apps uh, say twitter has the transparent icon but skype has not any submitted any transparent icon that's why it's not showing the transparent icon similar to here so depends on if the app publisher has given the transparent icon so it will show transparent now this is the first thing is there and the other chain guys i found here that uh, wi-fi sense has been removed you can see here uh, if you go to the setting and as network and wireless and wi-fi so uh, there is no wi-fi uh, sense option here i guess uh, it is there yeah it is there so i guess wi-fi tethering something has removed i will confirm that soon to you on my cell phone and couple of the things are still broken here and so and if you just go to the uh let me show you guys again I was just testing that I didn't get much time here so calls and filter you will see uh, we are saying goodbye to call and filter it was there for long back was when you try to open that block and filter it's not opening it's uh, somehow crashing that so hopefully this will get fixed very soon now let's move to the change logs and uh, what are the things we have there in this current build so let's begin with the what's new in that build so in the current build a swipe navigation the micro dash has been introduced in this build you can swipe from anywhere on the page to get back to your previous page so let's open here and see whether the steps are really there or not so it is here uh, i just uh, did a google here and i found that so you can see here if i just uh, click back and forward i can easily uh, navigate to the pages that i have open so let me just open if i just open here outlook.com and if you open the next page as a google.com or if you click any link here it should uh, come back to here uh, when we just try to do that suppose if i just click here create one so this is the next page where we moved out there so if i just click back here it should come back to the outlook.com login page this is what new feature has introduced it's quite nice you don't need to depend on the back button i have any place you are on the screen you can just press your fingers and right and left you can go there so this is the first chain first new feature and the second new feature is apps or website so let me tell you guys what is it all about if, if you guys are not familiar with the android stuff so android marshmallow which has been rolled out exactly 11 to 12 months before so google has introduced a new feature called chrome custom tabs in which suppose uh, if you are browsing on any of the place for example I'm just taking example of a browser so there it is uh, google chrome if you take microsoft edge suppose there is a link there uh, which directs to a facebook page uh, dedicated page for example if you uh, browse my page here uh, facebook.com slash group and function systems or if there is a youtube direct link so instead of opening in the microsoft edge uh, it will uh, go to the native youtube app it's there it's similar to this android there this, this is i'm talking about android uh, if you do the same stuff if you just click on any of the youtube link instead of opening in the browser itself it will open the native youtube app since there is no youtube native app here so i can show you guys here but uh, right now uh, people might implement that so to go that there simply go to the system settings system and you will see there a link called apps or website so whatever apps are there it will get shown here but right now there is no app to show up there but uh, this is called as a chrome custom tag which is here in the android but not here right now so this is the second feature so hopefully when this feature come i will give you guys a couple of demos too and the third new feature is that uh, feedback have improvement so according to microsoft we have heard from you that it sometimes be hard to find which category of feedback belongs in so a uh, couple of the category arrangement really nice 
has been done so it's not relevant to us in case you guys not submitting feedbacks and all now let's see what are the issues have been fixed for mobile so fix number one we have fixed an issue causing installation of the mobile bridge to fail with an error code k007002 right so and this is happens when you first time installing windows 10 build from the 8.1 so these things happen here fix number two language and speech packs uh, should download without any error so i've shown you guys like i guess in one four uh uh, 3398 328 build was there uh, it was there in the 142952 when you try to download language pack so and it shows here if you go to the language time in language language there if you try to download any new language so uh, it was not downloading so let me just show you guys here i didn't verify that so if i just select this uh, united kingdom that's okay so it's taking restart so i will verify that later because i need to show you guys some other stuff here and the next change here we have fixed the issue causing drm protected content from services like road music microsoft movies and tv netflix amazon instant video or hulu to fail on playback with some of the designs of these kinds of error code 8004 see something so i already have shown you that like this is drm protected music are in the copyright files that if you try to play in some of the other uh, music player app so you might see some kind of error there these kinds of error but this issue has been fixed now the next fix there we fix the issue where some users with some non-english keyboard uh, let me show you guys exactly what is that and suppose you're not an english man and you're not a hindi person and you are on microsoft edge and you have selected a default system language suppose hungarian and uh, if you just type here any place but Anyhow, if you have to type google.com, you have to type google.com uh, whether you have selected Hungarian or not. So, these th things you have to do. So, and when when using some kind of you know, English character in that cases, so uh, some characters like W, Y, and uh, they are not getting typed in on the Microsoft Edge browser. So, this has been fixed now. So, unfortunately, I am not, uh, I don't know apart from English and Hindi, so I can't do that right now. So, this thing has been working here. And the next fix here, we fix the issue causing your phone to lock up and reboot when you receive the notification from an app that has a keep notification private. Yeah, uh, if you guys are also not aware of like uh, there is a feature called the uh, uh, notification make the notification private. Suppose if you go to notifications and actions here, so you will see at the downside uh, there are a lot of uh, apps notification here. For example, if you just WhatsApp, if you just click here so uh, there is an option like keep notifications private on the lock screen so once you once we enable that you will see that uh, when it came a notification it shows as a uh, whatsapp icon then private so it's written that if you try to open that one your phones get restart sometimes so uh, that issue has been fixed now so this is what you can do that that has been fixed now and we have increased the font size and improved spacing for the data migration page after receiving an update so earlier to that i know i do notice that uh, you know when the after installing the update first it downloads then it installs so very small you can see the migrating data one percentage to two percentage some sort of very small even a big phone is doesn't really look very nice you need to watch it carefully so uh, that icon has been i guess font moved to from uh, 8 ppt to i guess uh, 10 or 12 ppt not more than that it's some just couple of, but anyway that was looking nice when you do that and the next fix uh, polish icons used to identify page in the setting app so uh, before to a couple of builds before there was no icon here for example if you come here there was no icon so these are called polished icons and also you can see the battery has been slightly increased so uh, these uh, fix has been there the feature uh, fix has been there it's called improved performance when retrieving updated gps coordinate while traveling so this is uh, related to gps navigation so if i travel someday and if i use my lumia phone again for uh, messaging uh, this because here maps is gone so i really have all my bookmarks on here maps so uh, that's why i moved to this uh, android here maps uh, because i do need all this up anyway i will try with windows map so if it's there i will let you know if it's fixed or not goodbye message on shutdown will now remain visible until the last moment to make it easier to determine when your device is part of so goodbye message is coming it was just for a fraction of a second maybe one or two but it will it will be there at the end so list the look of media control the lock screen when you press one of the media control button it appears first. so i don't think it's it's fixed because i, I also try to play a music here you can see uh, i got here one mp3 file here if i just click here So according to them, if I go to the lock screen, so I should be able to see, uh, you know, pressed message here. Suppose I just locked it, it's playing right now. So if I just uh, go and unlock the phone, it should show here. So uh, 
notice that guys if you are able to see pressed anywhere else so i didn't see any press something written there it's working but according to microsoft it says here like uh, 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 publish the look of the media controls uh, polish the look of the media controls uh, on the lock screen when you press one of the media controls button it appears press so i didn't find anything is pressed right now guys maybe uh, you can let me know okay, next week we fix an issue where some uh, apps including tweetium so tweetium apps were not working till the previous build now it has been fixed and it is quite working so and we fix an issue with access center context menu would appear in the wrong orientation so by default you guys know that like unlike android and uh, Android phones they ch uh, change the orientation suppose uh, you are in the app uh, let me open the Microsoft Edge again if I just move to landscape here so and uh, under the Android it will show you guys from here the orientation action will be rotated but here you can see so and uh, due to some bug it was coming in that way in some of the phones I have one comment not more than that and I also don't know so I said guys I, I don't know I'm not able to reproduce that so this is the issue was that so right now you can see a windows phone always show from this direction but uh, some due to some bug it was coming from that direction so it was quite nice which are people started started coming but it's not like that it's not yet came so that should be fixed here moving to next fix we have fixed an issue where lumia 435 532 535 540 would fail to record video as well as an issue where advanced camera settings were not preserved when taking the photo with Lumia 435 resulting in the photo being taken with the default instead so these are known issues uh, quite long back i have some comments too like Lumia 435 is not able to take picture next week they have fixed an issue where the same device might be listed multiple times under connect so connect feature comes to the computer if you have Windows and desktop if you try to have connection wireless connection from using this so it will show the multiple times and coming to the next fix fix an issue we are quickly pressing the power button twice when windows hello is enabled for result in display of appearing stuck off so this is especially for the lumia 950 and xl so and uh, just uh, pressing is twice enable windows hello but uh, this device it doesn't have there so i'm sorry guys i can show you that so but anyway if you have this device it hasn't fixed next fix we have fixed an issue where the group music might show an error saying can play another app is controlling your sound right now so uh, i didn't find that so let me tell you what maybe exactly it could be suppose you have couple of the players uh, and you are using vlc to play a video and audio file and if you are just minimize that pause that and open the same music again uh, you know in a group music player then uh, you might get this kind of error like uh, another app is controlling your sign right now if you guys know have felt these things let me know maybe i can verify that so and the next fix when delayed uh, lock is set up windows hello will not say swipe up to dismiss the lock screen rather than looking for your id so this is especially for lumi 950 xl devices maybe also you guys, you guys can confirm me let's fix that we fix an issue where glance would not be displayed when hovering hand for proximity sensor so this hasn't fixed uh, i just tried that so if you just keep your hand here so you can see glance came off so this was working i tried in the room so it's too bright here maybe it's not visible here and the next fix is the last last fix is that we fix an issue where multiple pwps might start crashing or launch after getting stuck on this flash screen so if you try to launch any a uh, couple of the multiple uh, universal windows phone apps together so uh, some of them start getting crashes and stuck to this flash screen so now coming to the known issues so the first known issues like according to microsoft we are increasing data issues with some dvlc devices where cellular data doesn't work correctly with the second thing so i, I had a comment long, a couple of days back in which a people the user has left doing a 730 and he said like uh, the internet is not able to work even on the you know when using dual sim device so at that time i suggested to reset the phone and because most of the problems get fixed so uh, that is known issues guys if you have 730 and that person if you're watching this so hopefully uh, that problem is still there you need to wait for the next bill and in the next known issue feedback app is not localized with the ui will be english only so uh, that feedback app is a very old known issues i think microsoft is not working on that so that uh, feedback app will just support the english language not more than that right now if you change that it won't display anything else and the next known issue you have reduced the number of instances where boxes are seen when entering emojis uh, you may still see them so i've shown you guys in the previous build like when using suppose any uh, chat based app and there's some new emojis like human faces emoji has been introduced so you just try to select them if you change the color and try to select them so that shows a blank square box not uh, colorful or emojis there so some of them are still there so this is still known issue and the last known issue is there the setting app may crash when you are rearranging quick action and the settings notification so already have demoed you in the previous build if you go to the system notification action if you just try to rearrange any of these things so your setting is my crash so i remember in the previous build microsoft said you need to reset and uh, yeah they said here 
if you have been impacted by this issue only a hard reset will revert your quick action setting back to default so i'm not going to try that because already my device is perfectly working and i have a couple of issues so i don't want to do that so yeah guys this is a couple of the changes fix a new feature and you can watch the the, the complete stuff uh, on my phone I already have written there and you can watch the same video there and don't forget to watch the weekly uh, apps of the windows 10 and windows 10 mobile that i have posted uh, day before so if you go to the news and updates so you will see there and uh, this uh, will one four three two one double one change log you can com completely read there all the things that we mentioned here it's there and you can watch the videos under gi support review so you can see here all the change logs are there and to watch the complete video you just need to go here again to windows 10 mobile here and just technical preview builds review so previous builds videos you can watch here and uh, you will get updated when this video will be posted here so there you go guys uh, this is sort of behind the scene if you enjoyed this video and help that uh, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up button too let me know what else you are thinking about if you have any known issues or pending issues if you know something else we'll try to cover that in coming videos and thank you very much for watching guys i'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead